Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here or this is your first time, be sure to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back to my channel. Y'all don't know how many times I had to say that until I could get it right, and I've been saying it in every freaking video. This video is about how to get straight A's in college. Now, I should warn you, this is not no like finesse the system, how to play with your grades, or nothing like that. This is just some hacks and tips on how to basically get straight A's in college because it's really not that hard. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Tip number one is the syllabus. In every video you see, everybody always says the syllabus is so, so important. In my opinion, the syllabus is not as holy grail as everybody makes it seem for all classes. The syllabus is subject to change in every class, probably except for online class, because things happen. There are snow days, or y'all don't go over stuff, or things just get pushed back. The syllabus almost changes in every class. When you get your syllabus, highlight, highlight, highlight. Highlight, highlight, highlight. When you get your syllabus, highlight all of the major things like tests or projects or quizzes or stuff that you know is probably not going to change regardless of what happens. Y'all are going to do them. Y'all are going to take them. Highlight those things and just keep a mental note of those major assignments so that you'll know what grade you got on them. And so you'll be able to, you know, keep track of your grades and stuff like that. So you'll know how far along y'all are in the class, how much more real work you have to actually do. Tip number two is know what counts. Usually on your syllabus, you'll see something that says like test, 80%, homework, this amount of percent, blah, blah, blah. This is so, 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 so important to know the weight of your assignments. The weight of your assignments determines if you sink, float, or swim in a class. So, for example, in Math 99, which I took twice actually because I couldn't keep up with the freaking class, basically. Um, yeah, so Math 99 is like remedial, intro, transition, math at different schools. They call it different things, but at Bowie, I'm actually wrapping my Bowie prize right now. I cut it up, but it was for like an all Bowie clothes party. It was cute. I'll put a picture in it. At Bowie, they have Math 99. So, in my Math 99 class, the weight was on the syllabus. I had had like a lot of overdue homework, but my test grades were like bomb. So I thought that like, you know, my grade was going to be really bad. This was at midterms. Obviously, my grade was bad at the end because I had to take it again. But at midterms, I thought my grade was going to be really bad because I had a lot of overdue homework. But it turns out that homework was only worth 15% of your grade. And the tests, on the other hand, were worth 50. So even though I wasn't doing so good on the homeworks, I was doing bomb on the test. This worked out in my favor without me knowing, but you, when you get in your class, you need to know so that, not so you can opt to not do the homework, but like, don't spend all your time on the homework and flunk the test or something like that. Know, know the worth of the weight of the assignments because it'll definitely help you out if the weight of your assignments is not in your syllabus is not online it's not on anything they give you ask your teacher almost every teacher has one and if they don't have one they can figure out one because you need to know how much it's worth and they have to have some type of system if they plan on putting your grades in tip number three is to ask questions i feel like everybody says this but ask as many questions on the assignments as you can Ask as many questions as possible so it is almost guaranteed that you cannot, cannot, cannot fail or do something wrong on the assignment. Ask if things will be graded as a completion grade or like as a grade grade. Ask for them rubrics. Ask about Blackboard. Ask about uh, Bulldog Connect or whatever your little database is where they put your grades and stuff. On your assignments, when you write something down, ask if this right. Ask if this is how you do it before you do it. Like, ask any questions. Don't get on their nerves too much because professors will fail you if they like you or not. I mean, not that Bowie does that or anything, but professors will fail you if they do not like you or if they feel a way about you, you will get a worse grade. But ask questions just so you're clear. Like, I had this one teacher I took for English. If you want to know who it is, uh, like, DM me on Twitter or something where everybody can't see it because then I don't want, like, something to happen. But the teacher was really easy. She pretty much, like, 
if you ask the right question, she's going to give you the right answers. And she basically gives you the whole thing of how to do it. Like, it's impossible to not get 100. She was really easy. So ask as many questions. Clarify anything you don't understand. It's a lot of times where people in the class will have questions and won't ask. And everybody will have the same question. Everybody will be lost. You'll be thinking everybody knows because nobody else is saying anything, but they don't. So go ahead and ask your questions out loud. Email your teacher, ask them in their office. Whatever you do, just ask them questions so you don't fail. Tip number four is to keep track. Rewinding back to those major assignments that I told y'all to highlight when you get on your syllabus, know what grade you got on them because I had a teacher, it's actually the same teacher, who would give you the paperback and the paper would have like an 80 or something and then in Blackboard it would say like a 70 and I would go to her like, um, here, this is what you gave me and she would just go in and change it. So something as small as her being able to go in and change it could have really you know, affected my grade or whatever. So keep track of every grade you get on your assignments. You can uh, write down your assignment, like write down everything you turn in and put a grade next to it once you get it back or something like that. But just know what you got on your assignments. When you do assignments, know what grade you got on them. You shouldn't be thinking you passing the class or thinking you failing the class. You should pretty much know. Professors are humans and with that comes human error. So if you've been getting A's back all semester, don't just settle for that C when them grades come out at the end of the semester. Even though C's get degrees, that's not what we're striving for. Shoot your professor an email, uh, go to their office. If that don't work, you know, go to their department head. And if you got to, go to the dean. But it really shouldn't get that far because as long as you have proof of what you got and your professor has one thing, you should be able to, you know, work something out. Tip number five is the holy grail next to finesse, but I'm not going to put that in there, but finessing is the key to college. But tip number five, holy grail of college, holy grail of work, holy grail of life. Do not, do not, do not procrastinate. I have not mastered this tip yet, but I'm really trying. It's on my vision board and everything. The best way, I think, to not procrastinate is to just do your work or most of your work when it's given to you. So like... I know in English we do like outlines and stuff. Once you do your outline, the essay is pretty much written. Like you pretty much just gotta make the, you know, little bullet points that you make or whatever sentences. Just do your work when it's given to you. Don't wait till the last minute. I'm really gonna work on that next semester because I'm not good at it. But that's a big tip. If you don't procrastinate, then you know you'll have time and do your work and go to the pub and chill on a strip and do all of the fun stuff that college is about. So yeah, don't procrastinate. And those are my tips for how to get straight A's in college. Sorry, like that's it, that's all. Don't forget finesse though, it's really important. Um, yeah, you can finesse anything in college, work, parties, food, everything, rides. Uh, but don't so don't tell nobody I told you on that because that's not right. That makes me sound bad. Those are my tips for how to get straight A's in college. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up in the lower right corner and subscribe in the lower left corner if you haven't already. Turn on your post notifications by hitting the little bell. Comment below if you want to chat. Let me know what video you want to do below. Like, just light up my notifications with the likes, the subscriptions, the comments, the shares, everything. Light them up because I don't have no life and don't nobody text me. So I need something to scroll through. But yeah, that's it for this video. See you in my next video. Peace.